Um, my name is Drew Patel. I'm in the seventh grade from Long Hill. Uh, the name of the project I did was Treasure Hunt. The project has three main parts. The first part consists of a robot uh, reading a color key. Uh, the, the second part is when the robot reads the map, so it's like this. And the third part is when the robot finds the treasure on the grid. Um, I used the color sensor to determine what color the robot was on. And I also used encoders to move the robot, um, like specific amounts. Um, encoders are important because um, the, when throughout this entire project, when the robot moves, it needs to move a specific amount. Um, I spent around two days on this project. Uh, the process of um, what I did through this project was first I made a flowchart uh, for the key, color key. And then I coded it, and then I oh, then I made a flowchart for reading the map, uh, the first part, um, and then I also coded it. But I didn't make a flowchart for the second part of the map because it was basically the same as the first part. And then for the grid, I didn't make a flowchart, and I just coded it uh, straight on. And then uh, after uh, I finished with the coding with the grid and testing, I uh, tested the entire thing to see if there were any errors. Um, the problems I incur uh, encountered were the, in the beginning, the robot was just driving forever after the key, and I realized I put the, like, function call in void loop, so it was just gonna loop forever. Um, the second problem I had were some of the, uh, key values were wrong, and then that would make a problem when I was reading this. And I realized that the... I was using the same variables as uh, color dot get colors, which actually gets the colors from the color sensor. So I changed uh, the the colors uh, that store like on the key. Um, and the last problem I had were um, was uh, going like I wasn't going far enough on the grid, and I was turning like too much. And I fixed the uh, uh, like the distance uh, with uh, I forgot to add uh, I forgot to multiply the x value by twenty two because this to here is twenty two centimeters as well as this and the turning I just lowered the time for the turning to happen um, uh, things that I'm still confused about are how to actually like go from each treasure without um, putting my robot back to the start and like going straight to the treasure without doing any like 90 degree turns so just going straight to it um so here's how it, how it goes and then after it reads that it displays what the colors are on the OLED. So it's blue first, then green, then yellow, then red. And then uh, I put the color sensor, I put the robot on the on the map that I want to do. And then it shows me the what the coordinates will be for the x values. And then it shows me the coordinates for the entire thing. And then after I move the robot to here, the starting position, I just put the button to the to it. So this is the first treasure at uh, two or three, and then I move the robot back to starting position. And the second treasure is here, and then Yeah, so it would be right here. And the last 
Right here, but I don't know why I said that wrong. Nice work.